Morning Year 6. So today we're going to be solving some algebra problems, but before we start that, there's an emoji maths problem on your screen. So the first line says ice cream plus ice cream plus ice cream equals 9. The second line is birthday cake plus an ice cream plus an ice cream equals 13. The third line is birthday cake plus birthday cake plus a chocolate bar equals 22. And then use those answers to help you to solve the bottom row. And look really carefully at the number of the emojis and also um, the operations on there as well. Okay, let's go through the answers together then. So the ice creams are worth three each because three add three add three equals nine. That makes the cake worth seven each because seven add three add three is 13. That makes the chocolate bar worth eight. And then the final um, answer is 62. So there are two ice creams. Um, we need to see the seven multiplied by eight first, which is 56, and then add on the two ice creams. So add on six equals 62. So today we're going to be solving some um, problems involving algebra and this will be building on your learning from this week. So if you need to look back through your work from this week, that's absolutely fine, just like what we would do in the classroom. Um, there are four problems to solve today and we'll go through them step by step. Okay, so for problem one, you have to work out the values the values of A, B, C, D, V, W, X, and Y. And then there's some clues underneath to help you. So there are nine boxes. Um, the two easiest ones I've put in red boxes for you. So if we start with finding the value of W, so 30 divided by W equals 3. So have a think about what the value of W could be. So 30 divided by W equals 3. Once you figure that out, um, that will stay the same for W each time. Okay, so if we look at the next one in the red box then, it says B times 4 equals 64. So you know that something multiplied by 4 equals 64. So we need to do the inverse. So think about what the inverse of multiplication is, so the opposite. And then do that to work out what B is. Okay, so now you've worked out the values of W and B. You should be able to use that to help you figure out some of the other ones. So for example, Y plus B equals 24. So something add the value of B that you've already worked out equals 24. And then see if you can figure out the rest as well. Okay, so for problem two, there are six digit cards and they are going to match up with different letters. So we've got A plus B equals 11, B multiplied by C equals 18, and D subtract E equals 11. I would start with the top lines to think about which two numbers from those digit cards um, add together to make 11 and then see which cards you can use for the other two um, calculations after that. Okay, so for problem three then, it says I'm thinking of a number and that number is called A. When I multiply my number by three and add four, it gives me a whole number that is less than 15. Okay, so you've got three lots of A and then add four and your total is still less than 15. Okay, so have a think about what numbers that could be for the value of A. Okay, so for problem four, you've got a bar model and the question says, which equations do not represent the bar model? A, B, C, or D. Now it could be one that doesn't represent it, it could be two of them, three of them, or it could be all four of them. So look really carefully at the bar models and also at the equations underneath and have a look at which ones do and do not represent the bar model. And I would start by counting the Y bars. The answers for all four problems are about to come onto your screen.
Super problem solving, everyone.